friends, so first things first, I'm in the middle of really weird weather so the light might change throughout this and I'm really really sorry. Well, I'm going to show you what I got in my Swan Kiss Lucky Pack from Tokyo Taku Mode and this is not a sponsored video. The reason I have this is because the year before, winter 2016, my parents asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I had no idea what to tell them so I just said hey get the Swan Kiss Lucky Pack from Tokyo Taku Mode because I knew that it would be easy for them to purchase from and stuff that I would use. So that was like the 2017 lucky pack because it was for the new year. It was Swan Kiss Official's bag. So all of the pieces in it, they say varied, but then everybody seemed to get the same thing. It was like a jacket and a dress and a blouse. And so I didn't film that one because I watched like three or four unboxings and they were all the same. So I was like, what's the point of me doing? And this year, my parents asked me again, like, what do I want? And I didn't know what to ask for. So I was like, hey, I saw that Tokyo Taku Mode, they didn't have Swan Kiss officials bag, but they had their own because they sell a lot of Swan Kiss stuff. So I was like, why don't you just get that? And whatever it is, like, it'll be a surprise and I'll just use those pieces. Because Swan Kiss is not a Lolita brand. It's not, I don't even know how you would describe it. It's kind of a Hime Kaji brand, kind of a Larm brand, but their pieces can be used for Lolita in like lots of different fashions and you can wear their pieces as more of like casual, cute day wear. My dad ordered it the 21st of December. He had it sent to me here in Toronto because it wasn't gonna come out until like January and he didn't want to have to like ship it from California so he just sent it here and it didn't arrive here until March 8th which is my birthday it was cool it was like a late uh Christmas birthday present and then I haven't gotten to filming it until now I've already worn a couple of the pieces so I know what's in it already for a while I didn't know why it was taking so long and my dad kept checking in being like hey did it arrive did you get it do you like it and i kept telling him like i hadn't received it and then he emailed them and then i received it a week later so i don't know what was up with that in the interim of me waiting for it i read a lot of the reviews for it and the reviews were horrible <laughs> like everybody hated what they got and it took a long time to get to them so i don't know if they actually were bad or if people just don't understand swan kiss and then it's cute people i'm looking at the reviews now people are like commenting on stuff that they can trade which is another cool thing about having a lucky pack because you can like trade and resell things and stuff so i just want to read some of these to preface this because this is what i saw before i got my bag worst crap ever i thought hey this is gonna be better than the official bag boy was i wrong i got factory smelling clothes a beanie that says sleeping zzz that sounds cute mini crop black sheer top and ancient grandmother shaggy wool skirt <laughs> what a tight crop Bon Bon Candy ribbon puff shirt. The dresses are okay. The white one is DR Lace. More recently from last year line. My The other AU Love OP in red. I got a funky blue jean, wooden handle purse, toe is cute. All in all, wasn't worth it. My initial comment will be removed. Made us spend a lot of money for bull. Y'all should be ashamed. Restock. Okay, this lucky pack was $123. Like, a couple pieces in it, and I want to explain that Swan Kiss pieces are usually like $60 for like a shirt, $100 for a dress. Like, for individual pieces, that's how much they are. So I think that it's a really good price for all of those pieces pieces you're also paying for like the name for the label initially i was super excited about this lucky bag as i love swan kiss but it turned out to be a huge letdown for me items are all too basic looks like straight out of forever 21 i think that this is someone who like doesn't understand swan kiss because swan kiss pieces when you take them apart when you take an outfit apart they do look kind of basic sometimes i mean you can wear them on their own but usually you want to like build an outfit with them. I don't mean to offend these people who got bad things um, because maybe they really did get horrible things. Like I can't see them, I'm just seeing what they've written about it. And another thing that's really important to remember with Swan Kiss is their sizing is not 
super forgiving. It's all a lot of the time one size. So these are all things to consider. All of this negativity being said, let me show you what I got because I'm actually really, really happy with the items in my lucky pack. We came in this bag, which is really cute. Uh, people in the reviews were talking about a factory smell. Like, I don't really smell at any of my pieces, but this is a My Melody Swan Kiss bag, and it's nice because if you want to rip My Melody on one side, you can, or if you want to have a more simple look, you can have it on the Swan Kiss side. And I think that it can fit a lot. I've already worn this shirt a bunch, and I really, really like it. Yeah, this is like a knit turtleneck shirt with candy on it and ribbons on the sleeves. I think that it's really good to wear. I've worn it underneath baggier dresses, like spaghetti strap dresses. You could also wear it like with just a skirt or you could wear it over top of things. It is rather small and tight, which is why I've been wearing it um, underneath dresses. This I think is my favorite piece that I got in the Lucky Pack. I love it so much. It's a romper that's really lacy and cream and beige. And the nice thing about it is that the waistband is really stretchy. When I first opened it, I was like, I'm not gonna fit this, but it's really stretchy and can be tied up tighter. And the legs are really loose. So is this top part. It's really stretchy. Super, super comfortable. And you can coordinate it a bunch of different ways. It's gonna be so nice for summer. I wore this while I was in California briefly last week and I don't know when I'll be able to wear it here in Toronto because it's still so cold. But even if I wanted to like layer tights and leggings underneath it, these wide legs would allow me to. This dress, I absolutely love it. It's so long and it's, the thing is, is that it's all see-through. I really want like a fitted white dress to wear underneath it or like really cute nipple pastings because I actually love this. I wore it for some Instagram posts um, with different lock shop wigs. This you could coordinate a bunch of different ways too. You can do it in more of like a Mori K, like plain style, or you could add a lot of different colors to it depending on what you layer underneath and over top of it. And it's all very stretchy. Then I got the tote bag. Be great for like a quick overnight bag or even to grab groceries. Then I have this little cute crop top and it's kind of, I think it's meant more for someone with a really small chest because on me, this line is kind of at a weird spot in the middle of my boobs. I still really love it. I like just wear it with like less padded bras. I like wearing it over top of shirts, but then also I think this would be really cute for pride. Again, if I had like cute nipple pasties, I'm here for it. And then my last piece, I don't understand really. It's a pencil skirt that's totally see-through. I. I don't get- this is the one piece that I'm not really happy with and I don't understand. I still am gonna like try and play around with it. This is really like I can only see it being a festival wear piece or something because all you can put underneath it is just underwear and it's definitely a skirt because there's a split. I don't know if anyone has any ideas on how to coordinate this see-through skirt, let me know. Everything else I'm really happy with. I hope that Tokyo Taku Mode continues to sell Swan Kiss and continues to sell different Lucky Packs because, I don't know, it's a really good gift. It's just so easy to purchase from them that I'm really thankful for them carrying these brands. Let me know what you thought of this haul and if you purchased from them, I would also love to hear what you got. And until next time, stay lovely.